Hey, it's Dinesh. Or is it? Well, actually, I'm a digital recreation of Dinesh. With the help of volumetric video technology, I transformed myself into a digital human. What can I do with that? Well, with the snap of a finger, I can change my clothes. Or just somebody else. With digital avatars, we can change our shapes, bodies and complete identities as easy as we would change them in video games. Now, we are not limited by the laws of physics anymore. Anything we imagine becomes possible. Now our creativity is our limit. As technology advances, humans see themselves more and more as digital avatars existing both in the physical and the digital world. Just see what we are doing today already. There is a real physical us and then there is a digital representation on social media that we portray to the world. Kind of crazy to think about, right? This also raises a ton of philosophical and existential questions. But first, how did I even get here? To get myself 3D scanned, I was invited by 4D views to Grenoble, France. So let's pack our stuff and get to France. Hello. <laughs> So what exactly is volumetric capturing? Imagine you are at a concert and you want to film the concert, but you don't want to just film it like everybody from the phone and uh, have one view. You want to film the whole stage from all different angles. So what do you do? You set up a bunch of cameras surrounding the whole stage, filming it from all angles at the same time. So you have a lot of videos that you then stitch together to create a 3D volumetric video. So that is the basic idea behind volumetric capturing. It is really challenging to get all of these cameras set up and then have them exactly at the same point to then again create the virtual object object of anything so I will be there as well filming myself I'm doing these shots also the one that you saw in the beginning and that has a lot of potential in the future this technology really has the potential to change the way how we interact with media how we do entertainment how we do movies 3d games for example all of that stuff because again you have so much more flexibility by having all of these different angles you can do crazy stuff that is impossible by using the standard methods with just a 2d camera really so how can we use it and how is it already being used a big use case for volumetric video at the moment is music videos mostly because yeah you can go to that stage make your dance moves and everything and you can get really creative and you know like music videos have tend to be also quite creative so that is one of the strongest use cases also it can also be really amazing for games and video in general really can have a new level of storytelling because you can showcase all of these different angles you can go back in time forward in time show it from a much more immersive experience which leads us to the next point of course AR and VR because that is just another level because you can be in the experience so I could film this in volumetric right now you can put on the headset you can stand next to me doing all of that stuff and not just next to me but you can actually be back in time because again you can 3d create your environment and have somebody actually virtually be in there so it's so cool i can really like put on the headset i mean this is off right now but i could put on the headset and then i am like really feeling that i'm in that space and that is a strong reason for vr and for ar it's also really cool because this is really like what holograms are that is most the hologram use case you have a digitalized version of a human or of any thing really like a living creature or any kind of like inanimate object and then through ar you project it to the real world so you combine the real physical world with the digital world which really is using holograms so you can have the hololens on and you have somebody next to you and uh, that is really really cool as well all right let's now check out the studio you still have to touch the curtains. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I want to shoot some awesome stuff. It should be like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> there are two things. Okay. First, try not to touch anything. All right. Second, if you touch, you need to let us know so okay. that we can fix it. That is good. But try to stick to the first one. I will just see exactly. Oh, this so, is so cool. Welcome the second video, that's really, really super nice. nice. Man, I wish my home studio was okay. Someday, someday in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is green, exactly. <laughs> this is also where the production happens, so you'll see a lot of stuff. Uh, lots of props and things we need. 
And already see like a lot of computing stuff. Yeah. Oh, and oh, oh. This is the brain. Here everything is messed up because most of the time you're trying to build and break things. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is now I want to stand here. I will be filled by all of these cameras and then we will digitally stitch everything together to create a 3D video basic of myself. So that will be a 3D animated video and that is the thing that you saw in the beginning also. So this is super, super, super amazing. Action! Well, with the step of my finger I can stitch my clothes, alter the shape or just become somebody else. Cut! One. It has to be like... This one has to be like... Keep, sure. keep your uh, elbow slightly lower, slightly ahead. No, no, no. 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 Ahead as in, in the... No, outwards? In the Z axis. <laughs> 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 what do you think about the times we are in where everything is being digitalized? Do you think this is amazing or this is a horrible idea? What are the pros and cons? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I see you in the next one.